So how do we approach metabolic acidosis? So if the blood gas shows predominantly metabolic acidosis and the pH is below 7.2 and the base is, base excess is uh, less than minus 10, then definitely it is significant. So the baby needs close evaluation and assessment. So uh, vital signs, blood pressure, temperature, all of these should be assessed. We need to have our eye on what is contributing or what is causing to the, this metabolic acidosis. So we have to review the supportive measures. Is the hydration adequate? Is the respiratory support adequate? Even if there is no respiratory acidosis, if the baby is recessing and is working more, that could contribute to the metabolic acidosis and the perfusion, the oxygen saturation, everything contributes as well. If there is underlying anemia, we have to assess if that is contributing. Is there infection? We have to consider antibiotics and uh, vasoactive medication if needed, uh, depending on the blood pressure and so on. Remember that the underlying cause and correcting the underlying cause is the most important aspect of any treatment of metabolic acidosis and bicarbonate is purely a temporizing measure. Many times it's driven into us at the moment we see pH less than 7.2, we have to give bicarbonate. That's not the right approach. You may be able to act, intervene by correcting the underlying factor. For example, if it's a tension pneumothorax, which is causing hypotension and your ventilation is actually cleared, the carbon dioxide you may still have uh, residual uh, metabolic acidosis. So you have to improve the pneumothorax drainage and uh, correct it. If the baby has underperfusion, giving a fluid bolus may be adequate. You may not give bicarbonate. We'll be looking at the next uh, couple of slides on why we need to avoid bicarbonate. In the extreme premature babies, they continue losing bicarbonate in the urine along with sodium. So this is the late hyponatremia or what we used to call the late metabolic acidosis in the preterm babies. We do give higher sodium load in the TPN in the preterm babies, titrating it for the requirements. And this usually takes care of the bicarbonate loss, but sometimes in the extreme premature babies, we give supplemental bicarbonate as well. So uh, avoid the bicarbonate treatment unless it's essential. And if needing treatment, use a smaller dose and titrate. So it's better to give a half correction and repeat the gas after an hour. Uh, so it allows time for the other measures to take impact. And bicarbonate correction, the reason we avoid giving it is because it can uh, re release CO2 and CO2 crosses the blood-brain barrier quickly and goes intracellularly quickly. So it may have a paradoxical impact of worsening the acidosis intracellularly as well as a cerebrospinal uh, increased acidosis which may uh, depress the sensorium. So remember that uh, rapid correction before you correct the respiratory acidosis with bicarbonate is not recommended.